Okay, John starts with uh, E4. Yeah, let's go for a, a Sicilian. I'll play a con. A con Sicilian if I get the chance. We will see. Okay, let's me go E6. And main line here. Open Sicilian. A6. And knight c6 would have been a time and off, and this is the uh, con. So the way he's playing it is fine, although bishop to d3 is a little more common. Ah, there he goes with bishop d3. So a typical setup. I'm controlling the... Um, I am controlling the uh, e5 square, so we can't push that pawn forward and harass this knight for the moment. <clears throat> so I always wonder what to do here. <laughs> There's a couple ideas. One is bishop c5, bishop b4, bishop e7, pawn to d6, pawn to b5. Um, let's play pawn to b5 and see what he plays. Pawn b5, bishop b7 is my idea. Normally I, I move my king bishop and go for quick castling because of this. But um, here, since he played the f-pawn forward, so yeah, sometimes that's why you delay the development of this uh, of this piece, because now you can uh, bring it out here and there's a, a pin. A pin on that knight, and you can ask him how he plans to defend it. So it comes with a little tempo. Not such a big deal. I wonder if there's a way to. Um... Yeah. Anyway, so it gave me a chance to uh, castle here. And um, he can play e5. No, I can't really stop him. Let's see. Do I have knight to. No, I don't have knight g4. I guess I play knight to e. knight to d5. Or back. Hmm. What's best? So if, if I go knight d5, I'm guessing he will just take it and, and mess up my pawns. So let's go knight to e8. Okay, well, that's that's a threat. Let's see. If I play f... Um, if I play f5, I, I need to shut out his bishop. He's threatening checkmate. And, uh, and he takes on Passant, and I can take back with the knight. And that would even hit his queen. If he leaves the pawn there and tries to undermine it in some other way, I have moves like a G, G6, and, um, and then the, move the d-pawn forward to defend with the queen along this... Uh, Seventh rank. Okay, he's pausing to think. That's good. Hmm, let's see if I push the B pawn forward this okay goes for that so that my next move is pretty much forced Now I just have to worry about those little sacrifices that take out the knight and still allow him to mate But for the moment I gain a tempo on his queen, so that's not going to happen immediately And um, yeah, so he's hitting my um, rook here Let's develop the bishop. I wanted to play knight to c6, but he could just take it so let's develop the bishop. Then I can play knight c6. And he's got to move the queen again, or maybe he can interpose something. I don't see it. Oh, I could exchange out. He could he could interpose on uh, e4. Knight takes, say, knight e4, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes. That leaves him uh, looking at my, knight, my uh, rook in the corner. And um, let's see, and this knight would still be here, so I still wouldn't be able to play knight c6. 
That might be that might be an interesting way for white to play. I might have to play rook to um, a7 there. Because it's queen here looking at the rook. Um, or I could push the pawn. No, but then that would leave the um, e pawn hanging. And other knight moves would work, but there are no other knight moves. The pawns are taking up all the squares. <laughs> hmm. So maybe I wouldn't take if he plays knight to um, e4. I don't have to take. Oh, but he decided to move his queen again anyway. Okay, so he keeps this threat on um, h7. Keeps the threat on h7 and... He maybe is threatening to bring his knight in to um, e4 to trade off my knight and then mate me. But um, knight e4 blocks the bishop, and uh, I can also just take it. If I play knight c6 here, then that blocks my bishop. So I have to think about it. Knight c6, knight e4. Um, yeah, that's no good. He's threatening to take my knight and then take on um, h7. So I need something else. I could play. Um, I didn't want to play um, d5 and block my bishop. So I want to keep that diagonal open. I want to open up the, d, uh, the d7 square for my knight. So it has a place to develop to. And we'll see how he proceeds from here. How are we doing on time? He's got five minutes and I've got six minutes. Okay. Ah, he can take my um he can take my e pawn with the queen. <laughs> or the knight. Ah, that was bad. Yeah, I didn't spot that till now. Totally unacceptable <laughs> because I had noticed it was hanging in another line. <laughs> Why wouldn't I notice it here? I guess because his queen was right in front of it before. But um, now, yeah, he can just take there. That actually wins um, material because it forks the queen and the rook. Okay, so my next move is going to be queen f2 if he doesn't take the pawn. Because we got to deal with the, the fork. I mean, I could take the knight, too, I suppose. But then that leaves him with the threat of... Yeah, there he goes with the check. Yeah, so he's picked up a pawn here. And uh, I still haven't solved my development problems. But now I can play knight c6 because... Um, because <clears throat> there's no longer the threat of knight e4. His queen has been lured away from the h-file. And I am threatening to take that knight, so... He goes there. Let's take here with check first. And then take back here. And um, this should be okay, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, two, and three. Yeah, so he's still a pawn up, and I have an isolated, isolated D pawn. So maybe it's not that great. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have taken with the queen. Let's back up a move. I could have taken with the queen. At least I would have come with the threat on uh, G2. Back to this. If I do that, he can just take it. He can just take it. Um, let's see. If I put a... Um, well, if he puts the knight there, I can just take it, too. So let's play queen over to f2 here. Um, if he moves his knight to these squares, uh, e4, d5, I have to take with the bishop.
and I'm bringing the queen over here to f2 so that I mean f7 so that I can play g6 when I play g6 and he take, plays bishop take I can take with the queen but now he's got pressure on the uh, knight and he's also hitting my pawn kind of annoying so if I play rook to um, e1 or maybe his threat is simply to take the knight okay so I need to go ahead with this and give up the um, I need to give up the uh, e-pawn here so I'm two pawns down the d-pawn and after rook takes d6 um, he's hitting the bishop so I have to drop the bishop back to b7 But now there's no mate on um, h7, h, yeah, h7 anymore. There's no mate there. Okay, let's see what he's got for his next trick. Brings the pawn forward. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Um, check here. Well, if I take here, oh, he takes with the bishop. Okay, so let's... Um, Bring the rook over. So if he takes the pawn on g6, I can't take back, but I can play queen to g7. He can take on... Um, h7 with the pawn and I can just leave it there um, or if he takes on h7 with the uh, queen I, well I take with the knight then so that doesn't work so he's got some calculating to do here find the best way to finish this off Uh, if he does nothing, what I'll play rook takes rook, pawn takes, and then I can't take with the queen because he has bishop takes g6 again, that annoying move, and the queen will be out of touch. So bishop, rook takes, pawn takes, and queen to g7, I guess. Yeah, it's very awkward here. I takes there. So that at least uh, makes my decision easy. Since I can't take it, I just got to move my queen out of the way. So now uh, he takes there. Ah, right, because my queen can't take once again. I do have a check, though. So there's a queen check on this diagonal, and if his king runs to the corner... And the rook check um, might be looking dangerous. Now nah, he can just bring his rook back, I guess. Check immediately. So, yeah, I need to keep an eye on the h7 square because otherwise queen takes h7 is mate, defended by the pawn there. Um, rook check immediately. He can step the king forward or he can bring the rook back. We can check here. Let's see what he does. Goes that way. So now the rook here is pinning. There's bishop check here. I don't know. It's tricky. I don't see any particular way out here and uh, and the queen has to um, stay in touch oh you know what I could try no I can't I can't move the pawn forward 
<clears throat> maybe with the queen here I could try pawn to um, yeah when he does that I can <laughs> I was thinking I could pin the rook which I can but unfortunately you can take the rook uh, with check and then when I take back with the queen he has the mate on h7 again hmm there's this check here doesn't help hmm 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 Queen takes, pawn takes, and then, then he's still mating me here because his bishop is on that. Um, oh well, let's play it out. I'm sure he's spotted this idea already, but just in case. He is low on time after all, so we'll see if he can figure it out in the 30 seconds he has left. But it's pretty simple. Rick takes... And queen takes is forced, and then queen takes, h7 is mate. Yeah, rec takes, queen takes, it's all forced. Ah, he didn't spot it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's get that rook off then. Oh, oh, that wouldn't have helped. I was thinking I almost had a mate there. Um, so he's got that. Oh, that picks up the uh, bishop. Okay, well, he deserves the win, so I think I will uh, resign here rather than play on, on the increment. Good game. I'll upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later.